you told me this very fascinating story about、mm -hmm. the piece. This is "Tree Without Wind" from two thousand four. Do you mind telling、mm -hmm. our audience again about the story behind this piece? Yeah. So,、uh, as a pianist myself, actually, piano is one of the instruments I'm very, very afraid to write. Mm. Uh, sometimes you know, th the more you know about something, and maybe the less you are daring to uh, uh, to tackle it. So、right. piano is one of the instrument that I I wrote only when I feel there is a strong reason and a strong artistic、uh, subject uh, or a perspective to、uh, mm. approach the the piano sound. My inspiration was from、uh, a Buddhism, a Zen Buddhism story、uh, about the、uh, six grandmaster、uh, from ancient China. His name is、uh, Hui Neng, so Liu Liu Zhu Liu Zhu Hui Neng. That's his name.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, basically, he was one of the、uh, founding fathers of the Chan Zhong.、Uh, the、uh, is a A Buddhism branch in China, and、um, <clears throat> so the story was:、uh, one day he was、uh, giving a talk,、um, you know, in in the front of his temple to many disciples, and there was a wind blowing very uh, uh, strongly, and there was a tree in the courtyard、It、was making very、um, noisy sound. So everybody was turning to、uh, see what's going on, and he stopped preaching. He said, "You know what is moving?、Mm -hmm. uh, some people say it was the tree is moving.、Uh, he said no, and some people say it was the wind、uh, causing the tree to move. He said need neither, and he said what it moves was your mind, your heart, and your focus." If you stay still and you remain focused,、uh, anything moves around you. Doesn't doesn't、uh, matter or doesn't appear to you. So it's about in, internal or innate、uh, calmness and practice. So I took this story in heart, and、uh, I wanted back then to write a piece called、uh, "Wu Feng Zi Shu," which means、mm. "Tree Without Wind." Uh, as as you can hear in the piece itself, there are two elements, main elements. One is anxiety, one is calmness. How these two elements are、uh, interplaying and、uh, exchange with one another,、right. and uh, uh, and at the end,、uh, what overcomes?、Uh, I think it's not a matter of black or white,、right. but Is the message is how to have、uh, both coexist, right? Both coexist, but meanwhile keep the perfect balance that you can contain. So that was the message. I'm very fascinated by how you always have both、um, Eastern themes and materials, but then presented with this Western.、Um, Environment、mm -hmm. that、uh, gives us this also intertwined, becoming one sort of style.、Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how you approach these two different styles that you、um, absorbed from this world? I think the、um, the assumption of、uh, Chinese or Chinese American composers all sound alike.、Mm -hmm. That was something. I、uh, I try very hard、uh, to to avoid. To,、uh, to avoid, but also、mm. to let people know that、uh, you know each person, no matter where you come from, even from the same origin or from the same region,、um, we each has our own journey, wasn't、right. it? So there is no such a thing called、uh, one style fits it all. So to me, my own journey. It,、uh, yes, I will never.、Um, I will never try to deny or erase、uh, my cultural root because those are important to me.、Mm -hmm. uh, naturally and unconsciously, it was in my music. 
But when I travel to different part of the world, when I、uh, came to the U.S.,、uh, what I experienced and what I embraced became part of my life as well.、Mm-hmm. So what I'm trying to say here is, I'm not intentionally or artificially trying to、uh, bring or emerge or collage two world into one.、Uh, no one can do that、um, naturally. All I try to do, or what I'm doing here, just to write how I feel, who I am,、uh, because in my own journey, these these two cultures and these two world already became part of me. Talk about journey. We have sort、mm-hmm. of like similar background. Like went to middle school, high school in Shanghai, and then came to the United States, then、mm-hmm. ended up in at Juilliard.、Um, can you? Say something about the educations that you received and how it affects your、um, idea of this Eastern and Western、um, binary, which you want to, you know, ignore sort of. Well,、uh, it's it's not about ignoring,、okay. but about、uh, embracing naturally、mm. uh, to to just review who I am、right. and、uh, how how my experience. Inform、uh, my writing.、Uh, speaking of education, I should、uh, tell you a, a, a fun story. When I was in the、uh, middle school of the Shanghai Conservatory of Music, Shanghai Fu Zhongya. If you remember, in the old days,、uh, of course, uh, uh, this, we are talking about really old days. The practice room are not really soundproof.、No. So I I was in one room writing music and.、Uh, Next to me was someone playing、uh, the wild bee, you know, the,、uh, uh, uh-huh. yeah. Right, right, right. And、uh, in 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 another room, <clears throat> there was a、uh, uh, a friend of mine who's an Er Fu player, this、mm. two string Chinese fiddle, also playing the same piece,、ah. but in a different key. But the tempo is、uh, almost the same. Yeah. Wow. So I have this uh, uh, cultural counterpoint,、uh, yes. ringing in both ears. Into、yes. almost like a very Ivesian mo- moment、yeah, uh, at that、yeah. time, you know.、Uh, but of course, the the sad reality is,、uh, I later on went to、uh, visit my friend. He told me that because there wasn't enough uh, uh, new music written for Chinese for instruments. Chinese instruments, yes. So their、uh, teachers and、uh, also actually uh, uh, Chinese instrumentalists, they took on the task and to arrange. Uh, Western repertoires to be played、mm-hmm. on、um, Chinese instruments. After I left China and came to the U.S.,、uh, I actually felt、uh, more clearly and also more connected to my cultural background、mm-hmm. in a way that、um, I、uh, <clears throat> I thought that you know、uh, there is a need to write more music for the traditional instruments. And、uh, if, as composer, as those of us who we know how to write for them, not doing so,、uh, then is is a loss for one or two generations. Yeah. Right. Even in your opera, you put Chinese instrument in it. Is there any challenge doing so, like to put Chinese instrument in this Western form?、Uh, yes. The answer is. Uh, uh, Definitely, there is challenge. And number one, there are different intonations,、mm. different tuning systems. Not to mention the sound, the colors, the timbre. Everything is so different.、Um, in, instead of making them、uh, one adapt to another, which means to 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 compromise the instrument. To simulate. Exactly. Instead、mm. of to make one less to compromise、right. the others. What I try to do, as what I、uh, stated at the beginning of our talk, I try to embrace both naturally.、Mm-hmm. So I let the Chinese instrument sounds.、Um, you know,、uh, of course, I need to show off who they are,、mm-hmm. what they can do the best.、Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, naturally, they are very different from the Western instruments. So、uh, what my strategy was, uh, uh, this also came with my composition habit. Uh, normally, I have a particular sound in my head before I write,、mm-hmm. uh, and what I do is I use whatever instruments available to me to create that sound. So, with、uh, 
with uh, string quartet or with symphonic work uh, is more about the sound in my head first. And then I use orchestra or use strings or use Chinese traditional instruments to create that sound. Mm -hmm. So by doing so, they all have to uh, step out of their comfort zone. They all have to become, become something uh, more than who they are. Mm. You see what I mean? Yeah. So uh, by doing so, they actually move closer uh, to each, to each other. other. Mm. That's right. That's right. Well, since the um, pandemic, I've been following mm. your Facebook posts. And in this one particular post, you talked about your mm. own struggle as um, an ancient uh, parent and also just a citizen here mm. to face that um, anti-Asian hate. How long have you been living in New York? In New York since 2000. To, since 2000, like yeah. <laughs> in this 21 years. What is right. What has changed the most and what is your story here? I live here long enough to remember what happened in 9-11. Uh, yeah? And uh, after that, uh, after that, uh, uh, you know, I should say, uh, um, attack and mm. also tragedy, um, as a New Yorker, if you live through that, those days, uh, I told myself, I'm a New Yorker, I'm a proud New uh -huh. Yorker, uh, mm. and this is my city in a way that um, good days and bad days, uh, you, you stick with it, right? Yeah. So... Uh, what made me feel different uh, in those days also it was a city in uh, charge right, right. but uh, people came together uh, help each other and respect each other uh, mm. as one you know um, yeah. we are all New Yorkers we are all under attack and how do we get, get out of this together how do we uh, uh, help each other to remain strong Mm -hmm. But with the pandemic, what made me feel sad is that uh, we became quite divided, wasn't it? Uh, not just New York, of course, the whole country. But uh, what shocked me the most is a liberal and uh, uh, inclusive city like New York. But there are uh, uh, a lot of uh, anti-Asian hate crimes happening here in this uh, diverse and inclusive place. Uh, where many of us, um, you know, love and live and live with good days and bad days. So I think there should be a lot of uh, reflection uh, and soul searching need to be uh, made after or during, even now, if we could not do that in the past, of what caused this to happen um, and what made us lost our, our soul of our city. So I think as an artist, uh, our tool is our music, at least for yes. me as a composer. Mm -hmm. So yes, I could do some posting, say a few words, but my strength is in my music. Mm -hmm. So I hope that through my music, the strength will come through. Um, well, those are <clears throat> all my questions. <laughs> is there anything you want to add or you know, just tell us what you are working on, what's the uh, news and what's coming up. Last month, I just finished uh, 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 a piece called Angel Island. Oh. It's an oratoria uh, for the Diso Quartet and mm. uh, voice. Uh, so basically, it's relating to uh, what we are talking about here, uh, Angel Island in the Bay Area in California, uh, was the place that um, uh, there was a detention center uh, for uh, immigrants, particularly uh, Asian immigrants, Chinese immigrants, being detained there for weeks, months, even uh, several years to be, uh, uh, you know, not to let them coming into this country. Um, so I, uh, there was a book, a collection of poetries. Uh, the detainees, they actually, uh, uh, use sharp oh. object to cut the poem wow. in, on the wooden wall. Wow. So there is uh, uh, more than 100 poems uh, 
uh, on the wall, and uh, they made that into a poetry book. Uh, I am using uh, those poems to create uh, a very meaningful piece called Angel Island. Uh, we are planning to premiere it this autumn, mm. and uh, uh, again, hopefully through this piece that at least people can know, uh, you know, a beautiful name as Angel Island. Uh, what actually uh, going on on the island at one hundred years ago? Yeah. So right now I am working on a new opera. Mm. Uh, is for the uh, fifth. 50th uh, anniversary celebration for the Kennedy Center, which mm -hmm. will be next year. It will be premiered uh, next March as part of this uh, uh, multiple opera project called uh, uh, writ uh, Written in Stone. So our opera is called The Rift. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's about the Vietnam uh, Veteran Memorial. Uh, the history and the story uh, surround and behind how that memorial was built. Um, yeah. Mm. Cool. Wow, so exciting. I'm so excited to. All I hope you can come to see up. any of yeah. this. Ah. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Thank you so much, Honro, for You're taking welcome. this interview. So glad we can talk.